hello everyone today in this video i am going to show you how to create tree brush in the app ibs pen text you can create any variety of tree brush because many of you many of my subscribers asked me in the comment how you create a tree brush tell me or uh, send me the qr code like that in the comment section you are watching my recent scenery videos where i used tree brush so here you can see these are the tree brush that i created on my own on ibs paint text and it's not too hard to create so i will show you how to create your own so there are some basics that you have to know so go to google and type tree png and in the google images you can find so many images with either black I and mean white background or originally png with transparent background or sometimes with that png box background you can see so some are licensable and some there are for some images there will be no um, mentions like licensable something like that so simply uh, which image you like which tree you like you can click and download so for example i'm taking this and just long press and you can find option download image click on that and here you can see it's downloading and then you can uh, simply click on whatever images whatever tree you like and long press and download that to your tablet and once you're done you can see here these are the two uh, trees that i downloaded now and it's transparent and that's why it's not visible here but here you can see so now i will show you how to create that tree brush so go to ibs paint text and you know if you have seen my previous videos you know how to create a basic brush uh, for that what you have to do all those things you know if you are new just click on this brush pattern which is available uh, at the bottom of all the camera size options and the format i use is i use felt tip pen hard for the template and for the type i'm go for brush pattern mono and i will go for the bigger size usually so this is how it looks just clear that layer and you don't need to draw anything here instead just we have to import that image which we downloaded so click on in, clicking that import option and choosing the image it will come to your canvas so i'm placing it so that there is no cropping of that tree and here you can see now the extra process are here we have to do it here so this is how it looks after importing that a tree on the canvas what you have to do is go to this brush option and here you can change the ch uh, make changes for your brush just increase the spacing and increase the pattern opacity now you can see this is how it looks almost done but if you want some variations in the size like if you don't want all to be in the same size then you can make changes in the jitter and if you want to make it like a scattered tree like a scattered star kind of then you can use scatter otherwise don't use that just use the jitter thickness to make some small trees and big trees um, coming in the uh, order and if you want some trees to be nearer and some trees to be far and you can use the jitter spacing option so yeah this is how you can make some settings for your tree and make some variation the size all these things once you're done you have to click this back to gallery and wait till you get this option to confirm your brush so click on this ok ok and now we got the brush so it's very simple process and if you want to create multiple tree brush simply just had this and you can import new one and you can create new press uh, the problem is that if you have any uh, if you have white background you know how to clear that but if you have that 
png boxes then just go to google again and search for remove bg remove background and in that website you can easily remove your background it can be any uh, with any colorful background or this kind of png background you can easily clear it off so here you can see it's cleared and i'm going to say this 500 cross 500 pixel is good enough so i'm saying that and this is how it looks all the png boxes are cleared and here you can see in the, it's available in the download section now i'm going back to my ibs paint text app and i'm going to import that here this is what we downloaded from remove background website now already we have made settings so we don't need to do anything further just by changing the image on that canvas you can create another brush your previous brush will not be erased by doing this process because once you have confirmed it will be in your brush section so yeah thank you for watching and yeah if you are new to my channel please do check all my videos you have so many information you can learn so much from my channel and please subscribe and check all the uh, other videos and also share with your friends thank you for watching bye